Africa in the late 19th century was a place of racial taboos. Against this background, a young white boy is found by a black woman who brings him up as her own. This is the story of Fila's child. That's uh, four children, is that right? We have a fifth child. He's called Benjamin. Benjamin Kamuti. Whose child is this? My child. But, but that's a white child. Ma? Huh? I think we should take that child with it. Will they take me away? Ma's not going to let go of you. A new magistrate has been appointed. He wants to see the child. If you hadn't have said anything, this whole thing would never have happened. The child is white. He doesn't go to church. He lives like a heathen. I'm afraid, Ma. You don't have to be afraid. She's lying! You're white! And you must learn to behave like a white man's child! Now, don't you go meddling. It'll get worse for you. For Benjamin Kamuti. He was linked to you. But now he's back with his own. I'll knock all that damn coloredness out of you! It's a time to accept life as Lucas Van Ruin in a new environment. But it's also a time for new friendships to grow. And for him to accept the harsh realities of his new life. I just want to say, Lord, that I forgive the Van Ruins all their sins. As time passes, friendships are broken and partings are inevitable. In search of his true feelings, It's his birthday today. Benjamin is carried away from both his homes, and through his quest, he rekindles old friendships. But this quest brings new dangers. Ah! Come on, grab my oar! Grab my oar! You can't fight your own blood. I'm not struggling against anything. I'm only asking. I want an answer. I had never understood you. I didn't either. I fell in love with my sister. If she is your sister, Benjamin, blood would have stopped blood anyway. Is it true I'm a Van Ruyen mom, or is it? The only thing that really counts is what's written in your heart. I took the wrong child that Friday. You picked him out right away. I found out when it was much too late, and I lied. He's not our Lucas. Phyllis' child, one man's search for his own identity.